This is day two of your shadow work journey. And today we're going to do something exciting. Today we're going to make contact with your shadow child. As you begin to form relationships with your shadow child, you also begin to break the chains of your adult fears, phobias, and life patterns. When we begin to connect, then magic, healing, transformation, and manifesting to full power can happen. Through connecting with your shadow child, you find the real you, which is what the universe wants from you before it brings your manifestations to reality. Before we begin, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell so that you can be alerted as I post more videos to aid you in your journey to become sacred masters. You can always come back to this shadow work segment to keep giving your shadow child the love it desires. Before we begin today, I want to talk about where your shadow child lives in. In Sanskrit, it's called Svahistana, but we can also call it the Sacral Chakra. This is located around four finger widths below your tummy, along the spine. For those who are unaware, chakras are the energy centers of our body. There are seven in all, each coincide with a gland in the physical body. As you focus your energy into these chakras by visualizing and breathing work, you activate these chakras and make your energy centers work for you. Our sacred chakra is where we are going to work with today. Its element is water, and I want you to picture it as an orange ball of energy. After today, you will begin to enjoy life and have more fun. You are able to give and receive pleasures and experience desire and excitement. This is because the sacral chakra is where we hold our sense of self, self-esteem, sexual energy, and power. When we work with it, we are also parenting our shadow child. Think about all the years of unmet needs your shadow child has suffered, which comes out as demands that we make on others to satisfy our needs. Let's start by pausing this video and write on the comments below a love letter to your shadow child. It can be a short sentence or a paragraph, but by doing so, you acknowledge its presence. Go and find others in the comments who have done the same. And I want you to extend the support and love back as well. To give is to receive. Let's start this session with a lot of positivity. And when you're ready, let's begin our shadow work. Today's Secret Masters, I'm Dr. Iwas Yukehi, Certified Shadow Work and RP Manifestation Coach. And today we are going to connect you with your shadow child. If this is your first time, we'll ease into it slowly. After all, we're talking about many years of your shadow child feeling alone and having its needs unmet. Imagine if your parents were to leave you and all of a sudden decide to come back into your life. They can't just come and jump right in it takes time to heal time to connect and with patience and unconditional love this is all possible today you're the parent of your shadow child and i want you to start by sitting up or laying down whichever is more comfortable but keep your spine straight close your eyes and connect with the infinity around you again Look around you, there is no end, there is no beginning, just you, the great I am. Stay in this for a few moments. If thoughts come, observe them and let them pass. As you do so, you're slowly becoming aware of your breathing. As you focus on it, reconnecting to your subconscious. In our last module, we learned that breathing 
is an activity your subconscious has been doing every moment of your life. So connect to your subconscious by being aware of your breathing. Deep breath in. Hold it for four seconds. Slowly exhale. Deep breath in. Hold it for four seconds. And exhale. Keep doing that and focus your awareness on this. Feel how each exhalation of the breath takes away the stress of the day. As your energies are calm. Place your focus on your sacral chakra. It is an orange ball of fire. And every breath you take, you begin to feel or see this chakra spinning, gathering energy. Deep breath in. Feel the power of your breath spinning the chakra. Deep breath out. It's spinning faster now. As it begins to spin, orange energy spits out from it. Deep breaths. Keep on doing that and really get the chakra going. Now as your sacral chakra is beaming with energy, all your creativity and sexual energy is now calling upon your shadow chakra. Watch it come up from the shadows as it is looking curiously at you and a wondrous ball of energy coming from you. Deep breaths. Observe your shadow child for a moment. Watch its childlike curiosity at you. I've never seen this before. Very slowly, I want you to draw a line, like a cord, connecting your sacral chakra energies to your shadow child. As it touches the shadow child, you can see it jump in a small delight, as though it is playing with a new toy. From your sacred chakra, I want you to send unconditional love through the core. Watch it touch your shadow child. All the unconditional love. The type of unconditional love that you feel from a mother, a father, a grandfather, a friend. Remember those feelings? Send it through the cord to your shadow child. Watch it curl up. Its energies make it feel safe. It's at home. With you now. Now you can tell your shadow child, I'm here for you. Nobody's gonna hurt you now. Repeat it in your mind or Say it out loud if you're comfortable. I'm here for you. Nobody's going to hurt you now. Keep saying that. Giving genuine energies to it. Until you watch it turn to you. And walk towards you. Watch it as the both of you meld together. Remember the love letter you wrote. You can now say it to your shadow child as you both melt together as one. Feel its energies. Whatever unmet needs it has. Everything is going to be okay now. It has you protecting it. And you're never going to ignore it again. When I count from 10, when you open your eyes, I want you to know that from this point on, 
everything is different. You are now sharing your eyes with your shadow child. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And open. Look at the world around you. Does it feel different? Is there a sense that things are new around you? That's because you're sharing your eyes with your shadow child. It is coming into being with you. Now introduce your shadow child to all the things around you that you're grateful for. What about a roof over your head? Food near you? Nice phone or laptop? Show your shadow child how blessed the both of you are. And there is more to come. Because from today onwards, the shadow child and now you will never be alone. This meditation is very useful anytime you just want to have quiet time with your shadow child. Like any being, including yourself, it sometimes needs to be reminded how much love you have for it. Unconditional love. There are no limitations or strings attached to your love for it. You simply love them and want nothing more than it happens. Unconditional love is the most powerful force in the world. Not only for wellness, but for manifesting. And from today onwards, you are now aware that you are not just manifesting from your own self. Your shadow child, who is also yourself, is now going to give you two times the power you once had. It's like having an extra engine, and all the roads and blockages are clear for you to go as fast as you want. And for the next 24 hours, I want you to teach your shadow child how you manifest for the greater good for the both of you. I want you to talk to your shadow child and tell it all your dreams the two of you are going to have together. Spend this time reconnecting with your lost self. You certainly deserve it. Stay in love. Namaste. Secret Masters.